Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel again. So the day has arrived where I'm gonna try and get the rings out of the two broken candles I received from Charmed Aroma. So I'm really hoping the rings are gonna be on the side of the wax, like they normally are down the side of the candle. Um, this one, I have a hammer, because we're gonna have to smash it, because it's only a little bit broken. So we're gonna have to actually break that one. But this one, I'm just gonna start pulling some bits off. I do have a bag full of all the broken bits. So I'm trying not to get, oh, look at that. I think I've, no wonder that bit wasn't coming off. Big blob of glue on there. So I'm gonna try not to get glass absolutely all over my kitchen. That would be good. But I'm gonna try and save the wax, even though it's got glass all through it. <laughs> um, just to try and, I don't know, melt it down or something. Anything holding things together is like stickers and glue and whatnot. Yeah, it's very dangerous having all these big bits of glass everywhere. It's probably just the wick on the bottom. I do not want to cut myself at all. You can see our ring is going to be really, really easy to get out. Look at that. There's the wick if I want to make another candle, so that's pretty cool. I'll keep that. Okay, so there's one. So I might just pop all of this out the way. Try and get some of this glass off of me. Because <laughs> it's absolutely everywhere. Alright, but we're going to go in. I reckon this is going to be pretty easy to get out, actually. Look at this. Oof. Ta da! Well, that was super, super easy. Alright, so we're definitely going to try and save that and do something with it because it does smell really, really good. I'll do a proper review of these when I actually get the replacement candles. Alright, so this one's going to be a little bit harder. So, what I'm thinking is I might pop it in a bag. And then maybe, oops, on top of there as well. And we're going to do the unthinkable and we're going to just smash him. Just a little bit. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to do this for a candle. But, you know, the things you'll do to get your ring. Hey, look at that. Okay. So, that looks like it's all going to come off pretty easy. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It looks like our ring is right there, so that's cool. That was easier. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to do that or not. Alright, so let's see if we can dig this one out. A little bit of glass there. Oh, yeah, they definitely glue their packages down. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> okay. Ugh, get off. Okay. Well, that actually went a lot better than I originally expected it was going to go. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Okay, we have two rings out. Let me just clean up and I'll be right back because I don't want to cut myself. Alright, so I've cleaned everything up. Everything's looking a little bit better over here. <laughs> and I figured we might open the one from the Christmas tree first because it's not a collection. I've been really excited about the Druzy collection, so we'll open that one last. But the Christmas tree collection is not, oh sorry, is not a collection. It's just random rings, which is a bit disappointing. I like collections. But anyway, yeah, still got scissors here because I've got wax like all over me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this is a uh, very, very, very sparkly and quite large too. See if that camera wants to focus. There we go. So yeah, very pretty. Quite big ring. That center stone is absolutely huge, but lovely cut. Yeah, pop him on. That yeah, looks really, really nice on. A bit hard for me to pull a ring like this off, but super pretty. But we'll get that appraised in just a moment. Now for the Druzy. I'm really excited for this one. 
<sighs> Let's see what we get. Ooh. I was hoping for one of the mixed colors one, colored ones, but this one looks like it's just gold. But it is the pear shape, which I like, or the teardrop, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Yeah, so that's really pretty. This is quite nice, quite different. This is my first Druzy ring. Hmm, but it is really pretty. This one could probably go. Yeah, it looks really, really nice on. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Hopefully in the next candle that's not going to be broken, I'll get one of the mixed colored ones and then I've got one of each, which would be awesome. Yeah, very cute. All right, I'll get these appraised and I'll be back. All right, so I went on Charm Aroma's website and the Druzy appraised for $70 and the other clear diamond one appraised for 80 So we're starting to think that, yeah, they are lowering their appraisals to a little bit more of a reasonable sort of price, which is good. Yeah, definitely love the Druzy. The Druzy is my favorite. More of an everyday wear ring. Like it looks, I put it on a different way and it looks kind of better, but yeah, I kind of like it like that. So yeah, I could wear that every day without people being like, whoa, look at that ring. Whereas this one, <laughs> you kind of put that on and people are like, wow, that's a, that's a ring. <laughs> but yeah, both so beautiful. So I will be repurposing that wax somehow because they both smell really nice. So yeah, glad I got them out. Anyway, stay tuned. Plenty more coming up. <laughs> See you guys.